And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. We've got the warmest day of the year so far come tomorrow. After 58 at 7 a.m., 61 at 9, we're headed for highs in the 80s, 82 to 87 tomorrow. As this little warm front goes northward, there could be an isolated shower or a little thunder shower in the morning. And then with just the heating tomorrow afternoon, there could be an isolated shower, thunder shower late afternoon and into the evening. A little breezy from the south, but definitely feeling like a, uh, a Memorial Day weekend or early June kind of day. 85 at Lafayette, 86 at Petersburg, 84 Monticello and 83 at Peru. On Friday, it's a little cooler. You know, we'll be in the low to mid 70s, but we'll have some rainfall mainly morning to midday. And there could be a little bit of thunder and lightning, but no severe weather is currently expected. And then we'll get a little clearing later on in the day. We'll hit our high probably around three or four, and then the wind will go to the due north. So kind of a lake breeze front will work southward, and our temperature will start to cool a little bit after that. But 71 to 75 should do it for highs area wide after lows. Uh, again, warm with the rainfall during the morning, mid to upper 60s. This is 630 in the morning. Your warm front is lifting northward. So see right here, there's just a random shower or a little thunder shower during the morning hours, especially northwest of Lafayette. That moves on. There's tomorrow afternoon and again to late afternoon, evening, maybe a random isolated shower or a uh, little thunder shower, otherwise it's dry and then showers and a couple thunderstorms come in tomorrow night and then right into Friday. This is Friday morning, but you'll notice with time Friday afternoon, the rainfall tends to pull away and then we get a little bit of clearing and Saturday currently looks dry. And in terms of rainfall, it's not like we're going to get dumped on from this. Right now it appears the highest area of rainfall or the higher totals that is will be in the eastern half of the area. I think it's a general rule about a quarter of an inch to as much as seven tenths of an inch of rain, but it gets active next week. First of all, Saturday night, Sunday morning, a wave of a few showers and storms pass through. Then next week, watch the rounds of storms that come through. We're probably going to get some on Monday, probably a round of storms on Tuesday. Again, severe weather risk possible around perhaps later on in the week. You see here, locally heavy rainfall and severe weather risk will be going up. So we're OK until we get to Saturday night, early Sunday morning. This is kind of marginal risk, but look at all the big severe weather risk in the plains. This will be on the move eastward and really, I think almost every day from Monday through Thursday, there's probably going to be severe weather risk either in our area or around the area. All right, normal high is 68, 70s on Saturday, 80 on Sunday. Very warm in the mid 80s, Tuesday and Wednesday. Then it gets cooler after that.